Well, good evening, Arkansas, and hopefully everybody has had a great Saturday around the state. We have seen a few isolated to widely scattered showers and storms around the state. We saw a few in central Arkansas earlier uh, this afternoon. We have a few in southeast and a few up in uh, the up in the Ozarks as well uh, this afternoon. Again, as I mentioned, not as much coverage as we as I expected, um, and nowhere near as much coverage as we've seen over the past uh, couple of days. Again. A very typical summer afternoon with the garden variety type shower and storms around the state and that really has been the case we will st still see those again as we head into the evening hours but they will start to taper off as we head into the overnight hours of course the bigger story around the state has been the heat a lot of us coming in in the 90s around the state 95 in Camden 91 in Mena 93 up in uh, P Piggott but 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 the bigger story has been around Clinton, where you folks actually avoided much of the heat uh, this afternoon and stayed in the 70s, thanks to a lot of rainfall around your part of the state. But for the most part, though, it has been hot and humid around the state, and that will continue as we head into the day on Sunday. And, 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 and of course, throughout the day on Sunday, of course, we are watching um, for a variety of different things that we're going to be watching for around the state and again we are watching for the potential for uh high heat especially on uh, sunday and we're going to be watching for those uh, heat, 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 heat advisory out for uh, for uh, much of the state um on uh, sunday from northeast down into south southwest and across parts of southeast arkansas as well also we're going to be watching um up in parts of the river valley as well heat index values 105 to 110 across much of the state minus minus our washita and our and our ozar region but still for the most part it is going to be a very warm and muggy day across much of the state on uh, sunday now with that being with that being said of course we are watching uh late week as well into next weekend uh for the potential for a cold front to come through the state now a lot of this will determine, you know, we, we'll see how far west our ridge moves as we head um, into next weekend. But right now, um, for the moment, it, guidance continues to trend that direction, more of a Saturday night or Sunday time frame. We see this cold front coming through. So, But unfortunately, that does not mean that we will lose the heat anytime soon. So really, um, ba basically, the, our our top stories going into the upcoming week are going to be obviously our Sunday uh, sizzler head. As I mentioned, a uh, heat advisory in effect across much of the state uh, for our Sunday Monarchs, our Washtaws, and the Ozarks. Even there, I still expect to see heat index values in the 100 to uh, 105 range. Keep our fingers crossed, though. We could see a few heat relief showers and storms possible on Sunday, but especially on Monday and Tuesday as a disturbance works through the state just ahead of that um, the, uh, in increasing ridge of high pressure. Now, will everybody see uh, rain? No, but some of us will see those few isolated to widely scattered showers storms around the state. I'll go over that in your seven day here in just a minute. Now, as we head through mid to late week, the heat wave will intensify significantly around the state with many of us reaching the upper 90s to the low 100s around the state. Where and, and how deep those hundreds get will, will basically be determined by what happens Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. If we see widespread rain, we may not see as many 100s. If we don't get as much rain, then the chances of 100s do go up as we head throughout the upcoming week. Now, as we head into the weekend, obviously, as, as you saw a little bit of, we are still watching for that potential for the cool down as we head into next weekend. And that's going to be when we start to see beyond that. I really don't, don't see a prolonged heat, heat wave after that uh, cold, cold front. So we're going to have to wait and see. But the uh, cool down does look to be on track just beyond our seven day period. So overall, as we head across the uh, northern uh, part, part of the state, obviously th this is where the air will be the, the uh, coolest. Of course, the coolest part of the week will be early in the week, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, uh, where we do have our highest rain chances across the uh, re region. Highs in the low uh, 90s with lows in the in the low 70s, but as we head throughout the upcoming week, we will see those temperatures rise into the mid uh, 90s, and rain changes basically shut shut off mid to late week as as the high high pressure basically moves overhead. 
Now, as we head into next weekend, those rain hitters start to come back a little bit towards the, the weekend as that cold front starts to move into the state. Again, dangerous heat index values will be a factor throughout the upcoming week as well across the northern parts of the state. Now, as we head down into central Arkansas, this is where we're going to have to watch for the possibility as we head towards late week. Um, of course, the early part of the week, very da dangerous heat, especially on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, not as hot simply because we will, we, we will have a little bit more cloud cover around and those ch chances for rain and storms around. Uh, but it will be very warm and very humid. Heat index values approaching 10, 105 and those temperatures in the mid-90s. As we head to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we will see those temperatures head towards the 100 de degree mark. Monday and Tuesday will determine how hot we get. If if we don't get as much rain, then I, um, I fully expect 98, 99, 100 to be, to be more like 100, 101. So obviously, we have that streak in the metro of uh, no 100 de degree days that is going to be challenged Wednesday and Thursday, especially on Friday. I feel like we will have just enough to get to that century mark as we head towards towards the Thursday and Friday. Now, for our folks in the de Delta and over towards the uh, River uh, Valley, I fully expect 100, 101 across much of the re region as well, especially as we head towards uh, Friday. And then, of course, by Saturday, we start to cool off a little bit. Now, obviously, down for our southern parts of the state, um, obviously, it's going to be hot and uh, humid throughout much of the of the upcoming week. Rain chances here are a little bit less than what they're going to be across the, the uh, central and northern parts of the state. But, again, we, we still have that chance to see a few rain showers and isolated storms on Monday and Tuesday, more widespread Monday and Tuesday than on Sunday. So it's going to be hot and humid throughout much of the upcoming week. But then as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that midweek time frame, widespread Heat and humidity will be seen, especially Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, where we get up to near or just over 100. And indications are we will see those heat indexes approach 110 as we head towards Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, and Friday. And then, of course, as we head towards Saturday, we'll start to see that cool down, but that front won't come through till till uh, Sunday. So Saturday will still be hot. We're going to be tracking it for, for you all weekend long and, of course, next week. And we will ha have updates again on Sunday and, and uh, throughout the upcoming week um, as we track that, that uh, cool, cool down. But always, of course, as we go throughout the upcoming week, re re remember to check the back seat of your car, keep those pets inside, and check on those who do not have AC. And I'll, I'll, I'll have an update for, for you on Sunday. With, with your sun, Sunday morning outlet, outlet going over any uh, changes right here on your source for all things Arkansas weather.